Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with a new recipe today. Today we are going to make a brinjal bartha or bengan bartha. This is a super simple recipe which can be served along with chapati or rice. The ingredients list is given in the description box so do check it out. So let's start. So I've taken the brinjal or bartha brinjal and I'm going to put some slits on it like this lengthwise. Stuff it with some garlic pods. Just push it into the brinjal like this. Then I'm going to coat the brinjal with some oil. I'm using normal vegetable oil here. If you like mustard oil, you can use that. Now I'm going to place the brinjal on a grill like this on the stove and cook it on low flame, making sure to turn it over every two to three minutes. Once the brinjal was cooked, I have removed all the skin from it, and I'm going to use a knife to chop it into smaller pieces. Once that's done, I've put a pan on fire, added some ghee to it. I'm putting in some cumin seeds to splutter. I'm going to follow that up with some finely chopped onions and some green chilies and ginger. Mix everything together and let the onions turn translucent. Once the onions are done, we'll add in turmeric powder, red chilli powder and a little bit of salt to taste. Mix everything together until, and cook until the masalas are done. Now it's time to add the finely chopped tomatoes. Add it in and saute for a few minutes. I'm adding some roasted cumin powder to this and I'm going to cook the tomatoes further until they turn soft. Once the tomatoes are done, I'm adding in the mashed or chopped brinjal pieces and I'm going to cook it for another 5 minutes like this. After 5 minutes, the brinjal is done and you can remove it from fire and serve it with chapati or rice. Do try this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section. I'll be back with a new recipe next time. Bye-bye.